In 1903, a small town in North Carolina saw dreams take flight. A strange-looking contraption made by two brothers became the world's first aeroplane. It marked the beginning of modern aviation. We're talking about the Wright brothers and their priceless invention, the Wright Flyer. Back then, people thought mankind had peaked. Surely a bigger scientific achievement was impossible. More than half a century later, we know that wasn't the case. Today, we not only fly over the Earth, but also Mars. Earlier today, NASA's mini helicopter took off from her rover and successfully landed on the Martian surface. It was all remotely controlled from Earth. Think about the gravity of this event, a controlled flight on an alien planet. Take a look. This is downlink. Data products appear to be in. We will begin processing shortly. This flight control, confirming that we have EVRs from Ingenuity. Ingenuity is reporting having performed spin-up, takeoff, climb, hover, descent, landing, touchdown, and spin down. And al altimeter data confirms that Ingenuity has performed its first flight the first flight of a powered aircraft on another planet. When you break it down, the feat appears simple enough. The NASA helicopter is called Ingenuity. It weighs around 1.8 kilograms. It is entirely solar powered. The flight plan was to ascend 10 feet, hold that position for half a minute and return to the surface. Today was NASA's lucky day because everything went to plan. This flight was not about showboating. It has unlocked a new era of planetary exploration. You see, the Mars has a pretty rough surface. It is sometime called, sometimes called a robot killer. But a flight eliminates the risk of driving through rough terrain, which is why NASA has big plans for ingenuity. It wants to use mini helicopters to explore the solar system. Flying on Earth is hard enough, we know, but flying on an alien planet, it's a whole different ball game. The gravity on Mars is a third of Earth's. Its atmospheric density is 1% of what we have here. So the technology had to be far more advanced. Ingenuity had to clock 2,500 revolutions per minute. That's five times greater than what helicopters need on Earth. And to control these operations from 173 million miles away is no mean task. It's a wonderful milestone. But just like in 1903, we must guard against sweeping judgments because when it comes to space exploration, even the sky is not the limit. India's Aryabhat satellite captures the spirit. Today we see ISRO scientists working in state-of-the-art labs. But that wasn't always the case. India's first satellite, Aryabhat, was made in a metal shed. Here's how the story goes. In 1968, Vikram Sarabhai was heading the Indian space program. He asked one of his students to design and build a space, a satellite from scratch. One year later, a team was assembled. A team of 20 young engineers armed with nothing but their ingenuity. But who would launch this satellite? Well, the Soviets agreed as long as it was entirely designed by Indians. And so the bill began. There was no lab. Instead, four makeshift sheds outside Bengaluru. Aryabhat was nothing short of a miracle, we say. It was designed with a budget of three crore rupees. And remember, there was no Western technology. Because back then, India was under sanctions. This group used their talent and innovation to build a satellite in five years. The next step was naming it. So they presented three options to Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Jawahar was option number one. The second was Maitri. And the third was Aryabhat. And we know which way the Prime Minister went. So it was called Aryabhat. On the 16th of April 1975, Aryabhat lifted off from a cosmodrome near Volgograd in Russia. 12 minutes later, it was in orbit. And since then, India has not looked back. It has emerged as a world leader in space exploration. But ISRO still retains the spirit embodied by those humble sheds in Bengaluru. Indian missions are still rooted in cost efficiency and innovation. 
Today marks 46 years of that iconic launch, a launch that made India believe in tall possibilities. And that's the idea behind space exploration. Beyond the science, it is about the marvel of human capabilities. And considering the times that we live in, all of us need that bit of marvel in our lives. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.